Raj is an amazing biologist. He loves to study plants, animals and all the other living organisms. One day, he was watching a video about the process of fertilization in humans. During fertilization, one male gamete fuses with one female gamete to form a zygote. The zygote then grows to form an embryo that later grows in a protective bag called uterus and receives nutrition from its mother through a connecting organ called the placenta. It is connected to the embryo via the umbilical cord. As he was watching the video, he realized that there are a lot of similarities between the process of fertilization of humans and plants. In plants, pollen grain contains two male gametes. The ovary contains ovules which contain one female gamete and two polar nuclei. The ovule is attached to the ovary by a connection called the placenta. The pollen grain lands on the stigma and forms a tube called the pollen tube that carries the male gametes through the style and inside the ovule via the micropylar end. One of the male gametes fuses with the female gamete while the other male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei. The fusion of male and female gametes results in the formation of a zygote whereas the fusion of the second male gamete and the polar nuclei results in the formation of an endosperm. The zygote divides continuously and grows to form an embryo. The endosperm serves as a source of food for the embryo. The ovary swells to form the fruit and the wall of the ovule forms a hard and tough covering that protects the embryo and thus a seed is formed. When the seed is placed in the soil and provided with the right conditions, the embryo inside the seed develops to form a new plant. Isn't it fascinating that both humans and plants have a similar method of reproduction and the beginning of a new life? So the next time you watch a video about humans, try to compare it with the plant and the similarities might surprise.